what Europe, um, what else can Europe do to help Ukraine? Uh, so, first of all, I should say that Europe support Ukraine uh, so strong and so much as all other world and results of this year's Eurovision uh, competition uh, approve this strong support from European people from all of the countries on the European continent for Ukraine in this situation, in situation of this uh, terrible war, which now is uh, continuing in Ukraine more, more than uh, 80 days, and uh, terrible war crimes, terrible crimes against the humanity. Uh, all of this uh, unite all of the Europe in supporting of Ukraine in, in this conflict, in this war. So we have all needed, we have support uh, by uh, weapon, by technologies, by humanitarian uh, goods and services. We have financial support from all of the countries and from European Union. And actually, European Union was the uh, first institution which uh, shared with Ukraine first very emergency money through the instrument of macro-financial support. So we are so much appreciate to European Union, to European countries, and Italy, uh, who support Ukraine, uh, also by the uh, defense, by the uh, special military technologies, by finances. So we really appreciate this and very grateful for this to Italian people, to uh, Italy as a country of European Union. Thank you very much. Um, so on the arms front, uh, there is something more that uh, you need or specific or uh, no? Uh, you mean uh, weapon? Uh, may I ask you? Well, yes, yes, exactly, yes. Uh, so, uh, now we begin to transformation of our defense forces and we uh, go to the NATO standards uh, right now during this uh, war and we, and we uh, are receiving uh, many weapons of NATO standards uh, for Ukrainian defense forces. So now we, we need more heavy weapon, more hovitzers, more uh, anti-ships, uh, uh, anti-aircraft missiles, uh, more uh, special uh, NATO standards ammunition, uh, more uh, uh, air protected uh, equipment. So. Uh, all of this equipment we need uh, much more than, than we have because of uh, Ukrainian army, Ukrainian soldiers are so highly, so strongly motivated to protect our country, to protect democracy, to protect European borders. Uh, we need just uh, weapon and we need financial support. Uh, we need sanctions. Uh, first of all, weapon to protect our country and European borders. Uh, the secondly, sanctions to make weaker uh, Russian's budget, because uh, Russian budget is financing this terrorism and these terrible crimes against Ukraine and against humanity on the European continent. And again, we need uh, finances to save our macro-financial stability in our country, to execute our social and humanitarian functions, to create uh, anti-mining or mine clearing activity because Ukraine now is the most wasted by mines and uh, unexploded bombs uh, country in the world. So uh, we should also financing all of this and we need uh, more money for recovery of our country, our infrastructure, our uh, living houses and uh, for sure we need uh, to know that Ukraine is a European country and belong to European family of the country. So European integration perspectives are also very important, important force factor, forced option, which uh, encourage our people, our soldiers. Because of this, we ask all of European countries to support Ukraine in uh, our European integration aspirations. So this is very important for us and this is what uh, under which we are working together with the European Commission and with all uh, EU members, countries. That's great. That is also in your constitution, the European Absolutely. Union. Absolutely. That is very important, yes. 
Uh, can I ask you, are you in favor of the, interven the intervention of European armies in the conflict? Armies, not... Uh, uh... I understand. So, uh, Ukrainian uh, defense forces, Ukrainian army is strong enough and motivated enough to protect our country and we understand that this is our responsibility to protect our land, our families, our infrastructure, our homes. So we do not ask uh, European soldiers to protect our countries. Uh, our country. We ask uh, European partners support us by weapon and by finances. So this is what are we asking for, and it will be enough uh, to give us uh, enough power to protect democracy in our country. Okay. Another question. Um, what is the lesson do you think uh, of democracy? Uh, is Ukraine teaching? Uh, Europe, like Italy, part of Europe. I think uh, that all the world is changed after uh, 24th of February of this year when Russia uh, began uh, full-scale uh, invasion to Ukraine. Uh, after eight years of war on Donbas uh, territory, now we have full-scale invasion of uh, Russian military forces to Ukrainian sovereign territory, and all the world is changed, and all the world uh, makes some uh, lessons and conclusions because of this war in sense of uh, mutual uh, Democ uh, mutual uh, democracy protection, mutual uh, protection of uh, civilized uh, countries. Uh, so I, I think that many uh, options, many things will be changed after uh, this war, and many lessons will uh, make uh, will will be made after this war, and uh, we all will uh, teach from the. Uh, uh, f from this, what we will have after this war. So, so I think that we all will make some lessons. But so you think uh, that Ukraine will be in the center? We did a sentence of the uh, European Union in the Western Balkans. Uh, so, uh, you mean that Ukraine is in the middle of the European continent? No, 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 uh, the, no, 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 there's a, uh, like a met metaphor. Mm. Uh, Understand. So I will try to explain. So thank you for this question. It's very important question. It's our civilized choice to be in the European democracy, to be in the European families of countries, civilized countries. Ukrainians wouldn't like to be part of Soviet Union or to be part of Russian Empire. We would like to be a uh, member of uh, European Union, a uh, civilized country in the civilized family of the countries. And this is our uh, choice of our society. And this is what is signed in our constitution. This is what is in 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 in. Uh, uh, in hearts of our uh, people, of our uh, soldiers, and we uh, pay so high price for for our freedom, for our democracy, and for our wish to be uh, part of a uh, civilized world. So this is important, and I understand that now Ukraine is in the middle of European continent, but also Ukraine now is uh, on the edge, on the border of democracy and. Uh, First of all, we protect our land and our country, but uh, the second option is protection of democracy of freedom, and freedom, uh, and actually what has happened now in Ukraine. And because of this, I think that all civilized world now is looking on Ukraine like on the uh, place where uh, democracy and uh, totalitarianism, uh, terrorism, Autocratia are uh, fighting between themselves. Two different uh, uh, kinds are uh, fighting. So 
because of this, Ukraine have so uh, high attention from all of the countries from all of the uh, world.